Hello, hello, how are you? This is your girl Tremaine. Welcome to Prophetic Encouragement. And um, yeah, so if you're new here for the first time, um, feel free to subscribe, turn on your notification bell to all. Um, gives this message a thumbs up because you helped me do ministry around the world. Listen, guys, I hope all is well with you. It is raining where I'm at right now. And um, I want to come on really quickly to let you know, recently I had a dream. I'm sitting here and I'm enjoying myself. You know, I'm just, you know, my little Zen here, my little Starbucks, you know, finishing up my drink. And I was like, I had a dream and, um, I saw where there was a counterfeit and a prodigal, right? And the dream was enormous. There was a lot going on in the dream, but I can tell you that I'm, I won't be able to tell you who and uh, what was said, but I can tell you the spirit of the dream. Whereas the prodigal was coming to himself. The prodigal was a guy and the counterfeit was a female. And they were both actually coming to themselves and they were like good people. They were good people. Um, and they were realizing that they were not what God has chosen them to be, to be in a relationship, to be uh, committed, to be married, right? And so in the dream, there was a lot going on. But to understand the spirit of the dream and to understand the language of the dream, they knew that they uh, were not what God had intended right for each other that that God had already confirmed so many times that there was somebody else that he had in mind for them but they yet was still trying to hold on and the prodigal the, the gentleman right he was very uh he knew that who he was with at the time was a good person but it wasn't the person for them him and he just didn't know how to say goodbye because he didn't want to hurt her and then the young lady she um was like walking against the wall and walking like like at like she was monitoring um him and she knew every time he was about to say something towards her about it she would change the subject or she'll start to cry or she'll try to like make him you know have second thoughts because she knew that he was coming to say it's time to say goodbye and on today now I had this dream a few days ago but on today I was listening to this song that came to me by Gladys Knight and I was like oh my goodness this is the interpretation of the dream that I had, and it's this song here. Hold on one second. Uh, put this on. Um, Gladys Knight and the Pips. You know, Gladys Knight's the deal. Okay, <laughs> she's a legend. Love her voice. And it was neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye. And I said, Oh my goodness, this is my dream. This is my dream. So when the song came to me, you know, of course the sun is going down. I got a lot going on today. I'm trying to finish my tea and all this stuff. I was like, let me just take out the time, plop myself down real quick and just share with you the lyrics to the song. And I'll begin to look it up because I've never, you know, looked it up before. So I was like, I want to sing it a little bit. You know, guys, um, if you're new here, God deals with me prophetically through music. And I just want to encourage you. I don't know if this is for you. Of course, it's not for everybody because not everybody is probably desiring marriage and not everybody um, is um, do have a prodigal, you know, or that counterfeit interaction. And again, these, these people were like good people. They were good people. They were uh, genuine, nice people, but they knew that they wasn't the choice that God has for them to be together, if that makes sense. I don't know how to say it. And they, they knew that they, the more that they stayed together, the more it was always, it just wasn't fitting. It just wasn't, it just wasn't gelling. It wasn't coming together. There was tension. There was stress. And neither one of them were being honest. And they were trying to make it work, trying to make it work. But in the end, they knew that neither one of them wanted to be the first to say goodbye. And so when I listened to the song, um, you guys know that God deals with me prophetically through music. Um, I don't want to be too on here too long. But as I listened to the song, I was like, okay, God, I hear you. So I'm going to sing a little bit of it and I'm going to play it in the background. Okay, so. Y'all, this green matcha tea is the bomb. Y'all got you to get your life. Got to get, get on it. Got to get on it. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sing a little bit. I'm going to play it. I hope I don't get copyrighted. I don't own the rights to this song. Okay. So it is playing in the background. Uh, you hear, yeah, I hear that music in the back. Do, 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 do. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay. And she goes. It's sad to think. Mm, we're not going to make it. Mm -mm. I gotta hurry up and it's not and it's gotten to the point mm -hmm. we just can't fake it where we just can't fake it right okay mm -hmm. for some ungodly reason mm -hmm. we just won't let it delay die y'all know the song right I guess because neither one of us, neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye. And so that's really what it was. So I'm going to stop that right there because we don't want to get copyright and y'all, you know, get in trouble. And I'm going to just read the rest of the lyrics. And it says, I keep wondering. And in the dream, that's what the prodigal was doing. Like he created this facade, you know, in the beginning of the friendship, the relationship, it was good, you know, but he knew deep down within his heart that this is not the person for him. This is not. And, and the thing was, is that he genuinely just didn't want to hurt the young lady. Right. And so, you know, um, and, and then she knew, she knew as well, you know, and it's not that they were like madly in love, okay? Um, but um, I believe when you when I felt the spirit of the movie, the spirit of the movie, the, the the dream, it was more that the girl was really into him than she was than he was into her, and she knew it. And he was also in the dream looking at his guard ordained spouse, like he was. You could sense that the guard ordained spouse was around, and I believe the counterfeit, the the the, the young girl. She was trying to come around to the count to the God ordained spouse, the woman. Okay. Um, and so let me just read the rest of this lyric says it says, uh, how much time I got left? I keep wondering where I'm gonna do I keep wondering what I'm gonna do without you. Okay. And it says, I guess you might be wondering the same thing too. So we go on, go on together, living a lie. Listen to that. I'm telling you, I could not let this song go, you know, today here. And um, it says, every time I find the nerve, every time I find the nerve to say I'm leaving, old memories, these old memories get in my way. Okay. Lord knows it's only me. Y'all hear that? Oh, he knows it's only me that I'm deceiving. And that's exactly what was happening into the dream. Whereas the prodigal, the man, the young man, he knew that he was living a lie. He wasn't being truthful in his heart. No matter how much he may try, that no matter how much he did or built with, built with the counterfeit in that relationship, he knew that it wasn't the will of God and that God already had someone for him. And the thing was, is he didn't know how to go back to his God ordained spouse. He was trying to fill her out, but he didn't have the courage. The counterfeit knew that and she was trying to stand in the way. And then at some point she was like, um, trying to play tough. Like, well, if you don't want to be with me, don't be with me. You know, it was like that kind of thing going on, but they both knew that they had something, but it wasn't ordained by God. But um, the counterfeit female was more into the prodigal man right then he was into her and he knew he had to let her go but unfortunately uh he didn't know how to do it and so he was living a lie they both living a lie they're deceiving themselves you know they're wasting time you know but again this song came to me let me hurry up here and um let me see uh what's the other lyrics here it says every time i find the nerve to say i'm leaving the old memories keep coming back in my way. Lord knows it's only me. And that's really what it was. And that I'm deceiving myself, right? It's just that simple. And I just can't say 
okay there can be no way there can be no way this can't have a happy ending so we just go on hurting and pretending and that's really what's happening in their relationship they were together but they were hurting and they were pretending you know and they were monitoring each other's moves and the counterfeit was looking at the guard ordained woman and she was marveled you know she was not jealous but she was like intimidated but she was trying to get in connected to her or some way trying to see like what is it about her but she had no idea it wasn't just that it was about her it was it was God wanted what God wanted a lot of times we already know that whatever God wants for us you know we tend to rebel against that so if this message finds a place for you is if it's in your season if you're facing this situation if you are the guard ordained man or woman and you know you have a prodigal and they're out there with the counterfeit I encourage you to go to God in prayer be strong and believe and trust in the promise marriage that he has spoken over you and trust that God would do the complete work in that prodigal's life and that God will uh, bless the counterfeit with who he has for them right and so it was neither one of us wanna be the first to say goodbye and then she goes farewell my love goodbye so i will be praying for you guys i've gotten your emails i've gotten your emails i've gotten your emails i promise you i have some exciting things coming up this year very soon very soon you're going to be very surprised um you know regarding your questions about the counterfeits the prodigals the marriage the marriages husband and wife family all that stuff so just be on the lookout keep your notification turned to all um I'm, I'm kind of rushing through here but that's just really what it was i hope you understand that pray for your prodigal if this is your message pray for your prodigal that they find the courage to say goodbye and that god will help them lead them and guide them and um lift them up in prayer and pray for the counterfeit man or woman that they come to resolution uh, the resolution can can i say it that they come to themselves and say right thank you sorry <laughs> um to say okay this is not what god has for me god has somebody for me um and that's basically it other than that be sure to like comment share and subscribe turn on your notification bell to all and um i pray that they have the courage to say goodbye because right now they don't but they're going to realize the quicker that they obey god and be with who god have chosen for them their life their destiny they will be blessed and that's it i love you guys bye